I have not used a flat iron in over three years. So yeah, it might be a little bit crazy that I just spent $500 on the Dyson Corel. Today, we're gonna find out if this flat iron works for naturally fine, curly, wavy hair. All the time I see people who do not have curls or wave in their hair reviewing products like this. And I'm like, okay, that's great that it works for you, but is it gonna work for me? If your beauty routine is your favorite ritual, be sure to hit the subscribe button because I'm here three times a week sharing my beauty habit with you. Let's dive in. You guys, I'm kind of shaking because I have not flat ironed my hair in years, literally years. I think the last time I used a flat iron, it had to be at least three years ago. <laughs> so I'm gonna turn it on and we're gonna pick 330 because my hair is quite fine. Full disclosure, I haven't read the manual yet because why, why would I? Come on, 330 and it's heating up. I'm assuming because the little light is flashing. So I'm so nervous. <laughs> my hair is in its natural state. I let it air dry yesterday. I didn't diffuse it or anything. I just let it air dry, do its thing. And then I slept on it with it up in a bun. So obviously like the waves slash most of my like curls are actually gone and we're down to just waves. So you can see it's pretty uneven. My hair is quite fine, but I do have a lot of it. I'm very interested to see if this works for my hair, specifically because the issue I tend to have with flat irons, and you may have this too, if your hair is fine and naturally curly wavy, is that when I use a flat iron, I often lose lose all of the volume I have up here. And also sometimes it makes the top of my hair look greasy. Like it doesn't look nice and blown out and shiny. It just looks straight up greasy. And that's the main reason I stopped using them. Also the fact that the heat is not great for your hair. But since I let my hair air dry, this would just be one heat style on it. And we're of course going to use a protectant spray. So I'm gonna use the BB Bumble and Bumble Heat Shield Thermal Protection Mist. This is one that it says you can use on dried hair to heat style. So very important to make sure that whatever heat protecting you're using is for dry hair. I have another one, a different one from Bumble and Bumble that I like when I'm gonna blow out my hair, but that one is specifically for damp towel dried hair. Oh my gosh, it smells delicious. The flat iron did come with this brush. I don't know if I'm gonna use it. I really am very partial to wet brushes. If you've never tried a wet brush, these are the best brushes ever. Guys, my nerves are like through the roof. Okay, like look what happens when we brush through. It just becomes frizz. I don't even know if I know how to remember how to use one of these. Okay, not bad. All right, so first pass, it got it pretty straight and there's still volume in it. I don't feel like it did that thing where, have you ever used a flat iron and then when your hair comes out, it just looks like a flat, crunchy piece of crunched together hair? That did not happen here. So I'm quite pleased about that. I'm gonna do a second pass just to see if we can get it a little bit more smooth because I still feel like there was some frizz there. And I am trying to give like a little bit of a curl under. Okay. That looks pretty nice. My hair feels good. It doesn't feel too hot. That's odd. It doesn't feel hot at all, really. Like it feels like warm to the touch, maybe. It doesn't feel like it's on fire. <laughs> like I remember before, like using a flat iron and then touching my hair and getting burns because it's so hot on the hair. Ooh, that one came out even better. That was the first pass. Wow. You can use this to create waves and to create curls, but today I'm just trying to literally straighten my hair because I wanna see if that works. And then once we get this mastered, we'll try to do waves and curls another day. <laughs> Let me fast forward through all of the bottom sections of my hair and come back to you when we get to the top and the front pieces.
Okay, we've done the bottom and now we're gonna do the top, which I'm a little bit, this is like the part that I get nervous about because this is where I sometimes have straighteners make my hair look greasy at the root and I don't want that to happen. <laughs> so we're gonna try it. One thing I will say so far is that it's taking me a couple passes sometimes just to get all the wave out, especially at the ends. I think that a little bit of that is that I'm really not used to straightening my hair. Like I said, it has literally been over three years. So I don't necessarily blame the Dyson. And I also don't really mind having to do like one or two passes because I feel that I've never used a straightener that didn't take at least, you know, two passes to get one piece of my hair completely done. See, like right now we have shine and I want it to stay shine and not turn into like grease looking. All right, so far it doesn't look like grease. It looks just shiny, normal hair, which is nice. I do love that this doesn't take all the body out of the hair. It's actually really nice. I am so used to the flat irons of the past that really would just make your hair look very compact and <laughs> flattened. And I don't really want it to be flattened. I just want it to be smooth. I am going back on the ends right here. You can see where they look just a little too straight straight to me. I really want them to kind of flip under a little bit and it does work very well, so. I had turned this up for a second from the 330 up to the 365 setting. And what I noticed is I could see little kind of striations. That's a good indicator with any heat tool. If you see any kind of like striation, that means that it's too hot for your hair. So I definitely know now that 330 is it for my hair. The lowest setting is what my hair should be on, which if you have fine hair that's also lightened as I do, 99% sure you're gonna be in the same boat and gonna wanna use that light is setting the 330. All right, all finished. The only thing I don't love, I love that I still have body. What I don't really love are the ends right here. They don't look nearly as polished as they do when I use my Dyson Airwrap and blow my hair out with like the volumizer or when I use the Dyson blow dryer, which I have now too. I'm just, this is like becoming a Dyson house. They don't look as polished as they do when I do like a blowout. And that's a little bit to be expected, but I was hoping that that for this price point, this would kind of work miracles on those ends. I think I can touch them up a little bit with it. So what I'm doing is just going in on the very ends and wrapping them under. See, that did, that polished them right up. I'm gonna put a little bit of hair oil on the ends and then we're gonna be finished. Actually incredibly excited to keep using this because it did such a good job smoothing the hair and it left body which I love that about the Dyson hair products they really keep that body in your hair which is so important if you have very fine hair and really for everyone because no one wants to have flat limp noodle hair no one wants that but what I think is most exciting about this is it is a flat iron that I can use on my hair when I've let it air dry or when I've diffused it when you have naturally curly hair so often the feeling is oh I wore my hair natural today so if I want it to be smooth tomorrow I'm gonna have to wash it again with this I'm not gonna have to do that I can use this on day two to smooth my hair if I let it air dry the day before or you know just diffused it the day before that to me is really exciting I've always felt like flat irons were really convenient because for me with having naturally curly hair it was a way that I could have smooth hair without having to blow my hair out. But where flat irons fall short for me was they often made my root look greasy or they made my hair look very crunched together and flat and they took out all of the volume. This has solved that problem for me. I still have the volume. My hair looks shiny, but not wet. And with the temperature control on it at 330, I feel really confident that that's where the heat setting actually is. This is not like a flat iron where 
I'm worried, oh, it says it's on 350, but is it really controlling the temperature? Because I noticed marks in my hair. I like that and I appreciate that Dyson made this. And here's the biggest thing that we haven't even talked about yet, which for me is where it's at. The fact that this is cordless. I plugged this in, I charged it, and then I got to use it without a cord. The convenience of that is just life changing. I know they say that you can use this as a waver or to curl your hair. I cannot wait to try that on it. I really wish though that Dyson would come out with a curling iron next. Give me a wireless curling iron, Dyson. Please, please, please. You will make my day. I am gonna try to wave my hair and curl it with this eventually. If you'd like to see videos of that, let me know in the comments below. I will be happy to share with you. I'm so excited about this. I'm going on vacation next week. This is coming with me and I cannot wait to be able to actually flat iron my hair the day after wearing it naturally curly. This really for me is worth it. Be sure to check out my Dyson air wrap videos and let me know in the comments below what Dyson video would you like to see from me next. I hope to see you in my next video and until then you take care of yourself. Bye. Thank you.